So everyone wants to know what the best tanks are in World of Tanks and today's video is going to try and show you some of the tanks that maybe get forgotten by the majority of players as to how strong they really are in the game. We're going to have a look at five tanks that are so underrated but perform so so well within the game and we're going to look at that all in today's video. Now of course let me know what you think about the choices that we're going to pick today and yeah let's get started straight away. So the first tank that we're looking at is of course the Challenger, the tier 7 tank destroyer from the British line. I think this tank gets so left behind in terms of which is the best tank at tier 7. I think that this is genuinely one of the better ones in the game. Yes, it may not have the most alpha damage to be able to splash out loads of damage all in one go, but because it has the accuracy, because it has the mobility, because it has the ability to spot opponents as well. This tank becomes really, really one of the better ones in the game. You have fantastic steel concealment, you have really good vision range, you also have that gun that just unbelievably puts out damage so so quick and of course 150 damage per shot is really really nice within the game uh, when you get it fully upgraded of course you get the 32 pounder which has some real significant advantages over this smaller one when you get that i believe it has 240 alpha on the top gun and it basically dishes out this damage super super quick and you can really get this thing into the right kind of positions we've got some videos on the channel using the challenger and you can kind of see that within that gameplay you know you, you can go 52 kilometers an hour forward you've got 370 meters vision range which may even get boosted up when you get some of the packages which is probably yeah 380 meters vision range when you are fully upgraded of course this thing when you put it into the right position if you can get into the bush if you can set up a commander with the right kind of camo perks where you've got things like um remain it uh, silent driving which allows you to just not get detected as easily when you're moving through uh, and basically when you're just putting yourself in a position whereby you know you've got all of the camo you can use the bushes to your ability uh, to the best of your ability and then be able to outspot your opponents dish that damage out really really quickly and trust me this tank does really rack up that damage very very quickly indeed um, as far as some other tanks well number two comes in with the German medium tank at tier 8 the Indian Panzer now this is one of the tanks that I 100 believe percent believe is just unbelievable in the game 55 kilometers an hour top speed forward it has an amazing and an amazing um, gun within the game it has really weird kind of armor sometimes you can pull off a bounce but you ain't going to be relying on it too much uh, this has a fantastic upgrades that basically just allow you to deal damage really really quickly you've got the nine centimeter got 240 alpha 0.34 accuracy you are basically just a fantastic tier 8 within the game you can dish out the damage real real quick uh, you've got something like 2000 dpm which isn't awful maybe slightly higher even than 2000 uh, especially when you put on some of the perks you can get this thing up to like 2500 dpm and trust me it can dish out that damage very very nicely in the game you don't ever really miss in this thing and certainly as a tank that i would recommend for the, some of the newer players and just the ability to just really rack up that damage and perform really really nicely in game of course the kind of commander that you want to be putting in the indian panzer is one that increases the dpm so you want rapid loading you're going to be wanting six cents of course you want born leader you also want some of the perks that are going to extend your vision range so you'll be wanting situational awareness to be able to boost up that vision range you also want to be able to kind of move significantly well so you'll probably want to be putting on um, some of the perks like run and gun which allow you to shoot on the move much more accurate um, and so this tank then becomes really really nice in game definitely one of the ones that you can pinpoint positions on enemy tanks to be able to track and pen them or just hit those weak points super super reliably and with the penetration that you get on the top gun of course this is the weaker gun of them all uh, meaning that you can basically go through all of the enemies that you're going to be coming up against and trust me from the amount of players that i've talked to about the indian panzer they really do think that this is one of the best ones uh, at tier 8 now some people might also think you know what the light tanks what is the best one well you've got things like the batch at 12t which of course are a fantastic light tank but 
you know, this tank right here, the WZ-132, is a tank that gets so little attention from people within the game. It has a really, really nice damage gun, 250 alpha damage. You've also got very nice mobility, so you can go 64 kilometers an hour forward. Yes, it is slightly less than things like the LTTB and the Bat Chat 12T, um, but it is so, so nice in game because you have the speed, but you also have the ramming potential that these things get because they are essentially like a Russian kind of whole armor, which means that they're quite heavy in comparison to something like the 12T, allowing you to ram other light tanks if you're going to go one on one with them. Um, and of course, when you pack in the punch of 250 Alpha, you can really dish out that damage very nicely. And even because you have the 250 Alpha, you can outtrade some of the mediums at tier 8. And this is why this thing becomes super, super good in game. Yes, it may not be the most meta light tank within the game, but because it has that alpha damage, because it has the vision range, because it has that speed, whilst also being able to ram opponent light tanks, this can be played very, very nicely by a lot of the players that are going to be playing this. Of course, you want to run it with um, advanced optics. You may want to then run it with gun stabilizer to be able to actually hit your targets on the move. And trust me when I say the WZ-132 hits on the move so, so well. And of course then you can put on things like advanced loader or vents or essentially if you want to go for a full spotting build you could put on advanced concealment as well but it is completely up to you it depends how you want to play it but this one is definitely one i would recommend to those of you looking at getting some light tanks and trying out some of the more novel tanks within world of tanks console for ps4 and xbox one and of course if you want to check out some of the other kind of gameplays of these tanks i do have them on the channel so you can just type them in on the channel uh, and then see what they're like and the next tank that we're looking at is of course the skoda t25 the tier 6 czechoslovakian tank at the basically oh my god this tank is ridiculous within the game it has such a fantastic gun for tier 6 you can just pump out the damage so easily you get an auto loader with this thing i believe it has an auto loader anyway um you can dish out the damage very very nicely i think it's a three shot auto loader with 110 damage per shot which is really really nice uh, and then when you look at some of the things that this tank can offer in terms of the extras, you can get some really fantastic things. So you can go 60 kilometers an hour forward. You have fantastic pen. You've also got decent accuracy, at least with the top gun that you can put on this thing. Um, 0.38 at tier, you know, tier 6 isn't awful. It's not necessarily the best, but you will be able to deal with that damage very nicely because if you put on all of the accuracy perks as with update 6.0, the 0.38 accuracy comes down significantly to probably somewhere in the region of 0.33, meaning that you will be able to deal with that damage consistently. The rate of fire on this thing, 14.21 rate of fire rounds per minute, means that you'll be able to dish out, what's that, 1600 DPM in a tank at tier 6, which is, whoa, it's just unbelievable. And trust me, if you can actually put this thing into the right kind of position where you're being very, very cautious, but you're able to actually um, get the yourselves into a position where you're thinking about the next steps in the game, whereby you can pull out and then you can deal damage very nicely into the side of opponents, then hide again whilst you're reloading on that clip. And then you'll be able to deal that extra bit of damage by the end of the game. And trust me, it is really, really a nice tank to play. I think a lot of you will probably have already played the Skoda T25 and it is most likely the best tank up to tier 9 where the Skoda T50 becomes probably the best tank that you'll play out of them all. And yeah, I think that this one is definitely one that you'll be wanting to maybe keep in your garage or mark or whatever you want to do with it. As you can see, I've three marked this thing uh, before I sold it. So yeah, really, really is a fantastic tank at tier six and one that I don't think gets enough attention as to how broken it is, to be honest with you, um, at the at the tier six. Moving on to the final tank in this list, it is another German tier 8 in the VK4502A. This is a fantastic tank. It really is one of those that I just didn't really think would ever be good in the game. I just thought, oh right, it's just another pretty terrible Tiger 2. Um, but this thing, yeah, it's 
its gun, the main armament of this thing, makes this thing so, so nice to play in game. 240 alpha as with the Indian Panzer, but this thing can realistically come up against some of those heavy tanks. You have the armor model on this thing to be able to side scrape, which means that you can avoid some of the shells that you're going to be taking. You've got a nice chunk of hit points in this thing. You've also got fairly okay vision range for a heavy tank. Yes, you're probably not going to be outspotting many light tanks in the game in this thing, uh, but when you actually think about the fact that it has all of the benefits of kind of this uh, really accurate gun and also the fact you can bounce arm bounce shots with your armor and also the fact that you also have the vision range you have that top speed of 38 kilometers an hour which i believe probably goes up when you get the engines or maybe it doesn't actually but yeah the mobility the gun the armor all of them combined make this tank into a fantastic one at tier 8 and I'm sure if you've actually played through this this is probably the best tier for tier tank in that line uh, when you look at things like the Tiger P which come before it which is awful and the VKB that comes after it whereby the armor really doesn't work on a tier, tier 9 heavy that's supposed to be pretty good and then yet again when you reach the tier 10 you go oh yes finally a side scraping tank but yeah if you try and side scrape you actually just get penned every single time in that weak point on the left and right hand side of the turret ring yeah a fantastic tank at tier 8 and one i would recommend if you guys would have changed anything, what were tanks would you have picked as the most underrated tanks in World of Tanks? Let me know in the comment section down below and we'll get a discussion going. Of course, there is tons and tons of them. Some honourable mentions being things like the Panther and the Panther 2, fantastic ones. You've got loads of different tanks throughout all of the tech tree lines that you could have picked and things like the, you know, the so that's it for today's video if you want to check out some other top five guides i've got loads of them on the channel that you can have a look at and of course i will link them on screen right now thank you very much for watching and thank you very much to all of the channel members for supporting the channel even further using the join link down below thank you very much hope to see you in the next video goodbye